what is going on guys uh, welcome back to the next video on learning uh, mysql my name is qds dan and you guys watching my channel cryowood all right so in the previous video we have uh, used created the social web and uh, we have created through our uh, gui our uh, command prompt in this video we're going to see how we're going to create through the gui which is this guy's here all right so i'm going to delete all these all this is going to be out of the way and we're going to come here you guys going to see create a new schema it means we're going to create a new schema here and if you guys double click this one you're going to see here because the two came in i double clicked and i don't want to save it and it's here new schema new schema is means new database here all right so what do you what do we want to call our uh, new schema say for example new schema we put a put a social web or uh, we put a social uh, social web or we're going to put a different name and uh, we put a for example uh, corio social for example we put a corio social this little bit unique because we want to put a social or we put a social corio for example you can put uh, whatever name you like your mice name so where is here uh, default character set the character set in its collation so we're going to put a default uh, utf8 mb4 so this is the default ones and uh, that's the default collation that's what we're going to put a default collection so our new database name is uh, social corio and we're going to put apply and you're going to see the here is apply and when you guys going to see here create a schema schema is a database another name for the database social corio default character set is utf8 and before so we're going to put apply and we're going to put a finish if you look in here that's a social corio that we just created here if you press this guys here this um, carrot and you're going to see the table right click on the table so i'm going to do it again you look at here when you guys press this one this kind of table is going to come in right click on the table it says create table so now with the create table is going to come in what do you want to create here so just exactly like uh, this one's here that uh, we have users we're going to put a users so our uh, table is going to be the users because this ones also have a social cries also have a users so now if you i'm gonna make it a little bit down this our uh, create table have um, four main areas if you observe here don't get uh, overwhelmed so that this is the first part is that you're going to see that users schema social cryo it means that's this guy is here there is a character set that we already seen here engine is nodb that's a that's the most uh, recent and one of the most powerful ones is uh, nodb okay so you're going to come here you guys should be familiar with uh, this constraint uh, primary key not uh, uh, not null uh, unique and all this that uh, you guys should be already familiar but if you whatever if you want to create an id you just create this one so it's going to be the id all right so we're going to come and keep in mind there is uh, some guys here make it uh, if you guys want to hide uh, that this guy is here if you don't want to see this ones you guys can do so and this one's going to come in id so we're going to start creating your uh, users here down here if you look in here it says column name id what column is that's column specific that's going to be exactly like uh, when you come here and put a structure and look in all of this uh, like this guy is here this is going to be exactly like that so if you look in here it says that uh, about the columns indexes foreign keys which we already know triggers partitioning and options so there are four as i said there are four parts the first part is here if you want to put a uh, your collation what's the default collation and the lower one was uh, say uh, uh, that one's at utf8 mb4 and then uh, then uh, gonna come if you don't want to see this one some people they like to put comments about the users table users you can put this tbl users as well it's up to you some people they do that and uh, this part here is about the column but this is more specific about one column say for example id users our user id and as i said to you part the last part so we have one two three and this is about foreign keys and that's what we're going to be discussing in the future videos 
And uh, the first one is we're going to see here, we're going to put a user's ID. So we put a user, our user's ID. And uh, what's the user's ID? That's going to be the primary key. And that's going to be not now. And keep in mind here auto increment because you guys need that with the user's ID. So how about the second one? The second one is if you click in user's uh, call and that's uh, you can uh, do it from here. You can put a first name or uh, you can uh, put a first. Uh, you can put a name or uh, we can do it from here. You can put a first name up to you, whichever you want to do it. So the war card is 45. You can change this one. So the war card is not 45. Say, for example, if you want to put a hundred. So that's going to be hundred. Now it uh, makes it a lot uh, easier for you guys. Say for example, this one is uh, NN, we can put a not null as uh, the case was uh, with these guys here with the social web. And if you're looking for the user, user ID, it was a null. So even if you look in here, so the user ID is uh, not null. The first name was null. So if you want to put a null, this guy is here. You just come here and remove this one so what about the last name we're going to come here and we double click we put a say last name and uh, the last name is going to be uh, say for example if you want to put a null or if you don't want to put a null say we look here for the last name the last name's default is null so this also default is null null is yes so that's a default null. If you want to put a not null, you're going to remove this one. And um, here we have uh, 45, then uh, we can put 100 here. All right, that one's done. Then we're going to move here. Uh, we double click here and that the next one was, uh, we're looking here was active. As you can see it here, it's a bit one. So that's a default and we can do that. So if you put a, active we can put active and uh, the default is here so this is going to be the bit and uh, we are going to look for the bit keep in mind that's all our databases that's integer that's work card that's a decimal that's a date time we have seen this one that's a blob and we're going to show all this database in uh, future videos but at the moment we are looking for a bit bit so we are looking uh, bit is here this guy here and we put a one inside and the default is uh, one as uh, we have seen the active the default is going to be one so you guys need to put it here the active and you say bit and we put a one and here the default is one we are not going to put a uh, say uh, primary key or binary this and that we just uh, put it here so when you uh, click again this is going to come here you see exactly the same ones that uh, we have done it here that's exactly the same ones but through the GUI because the reason I'm showing you because uh, first I we have done uh, through the GUI we have done through the command line now we're doing exactly the same ones through the GUI so now we have a created art and uh, we have updated at and it's going to be the timestamp current timestamp so we're going to copy if you want to you can copy this one or we're going to create our own so we're going to put a created at uh, and i'm going to put a lower case so i'm going to put a created at and this is going to be the timestamp so the timestamp uh, the timestamp is here but make sure you remove this one because if you don't we're going to get an error so we're going to put a timestamp and we're going to put a time timestamp here we're going to put a time stamp so when you put a timestamp then the default is going to be uh, okay so i'm going to get a i'm putting time stamp and then uh, you're going to put a uh, current timestamp you put a current and then we put a timestamp time stamp or right, so that's a created ad 
and it's gonna be if you look in here that's how it's gonna look so I, I can not make it bigger than this and uh, this guy is here then we're gonna be the next column is gonna be updated at so we put updated and I'm gonna put a lower case you guys can uh, put it this way as well so you can put the first letter uh, upper you don't need to put it lower the reason I'm, I want to put it here is because you guys see the data types you can distinguish between the data type and the column name so we can put it you can put it like uh, update with the, like this that's what everyone's gonna put it and eventually we're gonna do this and we're gonna put update it at so the updated ones, the data type is going to be, it's not going to be the work card, it's going to be the timestamp. Because uh, in the previous one, we had uh, here, we updated as it's going to be the timestamp. Uh, on update, it's going to be the timestamp, on update, current timestamp, on update, current timestamps. That's what it's going to be. So the timestamp, as we have already chosen, timestamp. And make sure even you gonna put it here we're gonna put a timestamp it's going to work hard because it's looking for value if you're looking for value you guys need to put the remove the parenthesis here and we're gonna go a little bit up you're going to look for this guy here and just remove the parenthesis you guys are gonna be okay so we're gonna put this ones as well we're gonna put a time stamp and as you look in here the default is going to be current timestamp and it's going to be null we put a current timestamp on update current timestamp so we're going to put a current timestamp timestamp on update current timestamp okay so that's going to be exactly like this because we have a user id in the first name last name active if the user is active and not created that timestamp and updated that timestamp because you that's going to be exactly like this and keep in mind if you put a if you see parenthesis here you're going to get an error so in order to avoid error you just remove the parenthesis so if you click here this is going to see our uh, whatever we put in our default here so that's going to be updated at and that's going to be uh, that's going to be created at and it's going to be the current timestamp and it's going to be updated at so keep in mind we need to put auto increment not null in pk on the first one you guys don't need to put it on the next one if you want the username to for the user to put it you put a and and not null you can put it not null or uh, if you want any of this to be say the user is going to put it you put it not null otherwise if it's null then you're going to leave it like that and with the current timestamp as we have seen uh, on this way so if you go to the database of the users if you want it like this then you type what i have typed it created add and updated add because if you want the mysql to put the timestamp so that's what we're going to do and then now we finish. finished now uh, we have uh, done all our database we have covered the int work card 100 work card bit and timestamp so if you finish we're gonna come here and put apply and you're gonna see exactly the like we have uh, done it before we have uh, created our uh, table that's our database that's our table database dot table user ID int not null auto increment first name last name work card 100 active is bit 0 and 1 1 is for active 0 is for not active created at uh, created at timestamp not null default timestamp updated at uh, timestamp null default current timestamp or update current timestamp and the primary key is user id which is this guy here when you guys finish just hit the apply button and we're going to yeah, apply button and it's done when it's done you guys just put a finish and you guys are going to see your tables here you're going to see all your columns the first name last name and you're going to see everything here and uh, you can see it here too if you're gonna come and uh, refresh this and we're going to see the social corio and when we're going to see here we're going to see the users 
and when you look at the users you're going to see exactly like like that like like this one like like uh, social web so that's how it's done with uh, as i said in previous video we have created through this and in this video we have created through uh, the gui that's how you guys create going to create your database and i'm going to recap you're going to go here where there is a pipe type or there is container type you press plus you click it's going to come in here if you look in here that's for your uh, schema for your database and that's for your table and once your uh, table is created you're going to come here and right click the users and you're going to start uh, typing whatever you need to type so i'm going to put it here to make it a little bit big so you guys can see it properly so this is a mysql creating the table of uh, and creating the database let us know in the comment whichever you win you like whichever runs easier for you if it's easier through this way uh, through the this guy is here or easier through the GUI way whichever uh, why is easier if you want to see if you want to leave comments I always leave uh, reads comments so whichever easier for you so let me know if you guys like this way or if you guys like uh, say this way the GUI way interface way whichever is easy for you and uh, I have created one table for uh, both of them so that's how we're gonna create our uh, database and that's how we're gonna create our tables through the GUI and entering the database is a lot easier than uh, when you guys see in here we put insert entering the database very very easy so and then uh, through this one you can uh, enter your database or if you want to go here you can uh, select this one first name and you can enter your database if you look in here for change you can uh, if you press change then you're going to come here and uh, through the this guys here you can enter the database or when you guys go here insert then it's going to be inserting the database say for example if you want to put yes Danny through this one and um, you don't you're not going to put a first name or last name you're not going to put anything if you press go then uh, your uh, database has been inserted insert into user user id and it says that uh, the, this is all going to be null because we are looking for the first name user id is null yes danny we're going to put it here then it's that all everything is going to be null so once everything is null when you press o go it will go and create the database here for you and if you look over for table users you're going to have a yes danny one and two because once we create it and again we create it so it doesn't matter how many times created but the main thing is that you guys need to understand this insert this insert here and this insert into the user's first name so that's how it's created if you want to call if you want to delete this one just uh, come here and look at this guy here it's a delete and press ok it's gone okay so that, that's how we're going to create our databases and that's how we're going to create the table in the mysql workbench all right guys that's it for this video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe cryword spread the word if you guys have any question or comment leave in the comment box otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video and bye